Hey, make sure y'all drop a like. Helps out the video a lot and subscribe. Non-legend himself, the guy who needs to quit producing 2K, man. <laughs> y'all let me know down below immediately if you think badge tiers was a good idea. If you like 10 badges before you could put on your tier three badges, y'all let me know if y'all like that, man. If y'all think it's a good idea, I think people need to start voicing their opinions and spam them um, for the rest of the year or 24 is not gonna be different. I don't know if if people get that. People try to like silence people and stuff, but it's like, if you don't like something and you don't want it in the next 2K, you kinda have to keep vocalizing yourself. <laughs> I don't know, man, but let's see what Michelle Wang got to say, my boy. I see a lot of people mad about this, uh, these pattern, uh, core badges, man. So let's see what young Michelle Wang got to say, man. Y'all, y'all let me know down below. WRL Gameplay Director, man. Hi, everyone. I'm Mike Wang, Gameplay Director uh -huh. for NBA 2K. And for Season 3, we have a very special Level 40 reward on New uh -huh. Gen that we call Core Badge Patterns. Now, if you need a refresher, yep. this year for NBA 2K23, we introduced Core Badges on New Gen. And badges in these four core slots don't cost any badge points. So it gives you more freedom to spend those points in other Y'all let me know if y'all think Core Badges is a W or L, bro. I think a lot of people are over panicking, thinking this is going to ruin the game, bro. Let me tell you something right now. I play current gen too, okay? There are no tiers. There are no core badges. You can just put on whatever badges and when you score three shots, you get takeover. And it's not single takeover like next gen, it's double takeover and everyone gets accelerator very fast. And you know how you get plus four on next? You get plus nine on current and that game's not broken like people think uh next is gonna be broken um you know like the game's just so it's just it's just ass uh, <laughs> it's just ass so it's, it's it's not what people are like thinking bro and it it's not like you can just add on extra core badges you're literally just switching them it's not as crazy as y'all think man areas but before you can core a badge, you have to use it and complete its core challenge requirement. And also, a lot of people don't even, they ain't gonna have the core, the right core badges, man. You know? And this is also gonna increase people playing the game. Like, it's gonna help their 2K's playtime because a lot of this, a lot of the core, a lot of the badges y'all need cored are like hard to core. And there's no number system because you know it's broken as hell. And 2K don't work. So it, it, it all works in their favor, man. So that's just using the badges. You have to use the badges. And by default, there are four uh -huh. slots. And the four slots are finishing, shooting, playmaking, and defense rebounding. But now, we're adding the ability to change the pattern of your core badge slots, starting with a set of patterns that you earn by reaching level 40 this season in my career. So uh -huh. let's take a look at how that works. So you can see I'm already at level 40. Look at that, covering up his name. Why are you covering up your name, bro? Why are you covering up your name? What are you hiding for? I want to play you, boy. I need to drop you off, all the pain. Why are you, can someone decode this? Like what's going on? And if you go over here to progression, then badges, to change my core badges. It looked like he don't even know what he doing. But you the gameplay director, my boy? Huh? I'm tired of you making these decisions on this game. I think this hold the worst 2K ever. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Um, just gameplay wise. I, I think it's the worst. And I think things gotta be changed, man. Like the movement system, bro, it feels like I'm just on PS1, my boy. And it's not more realistic, it's less, it's the most unrealistic 2K to me. I mean, adrenaline bars, that's some arcade shit. <laughs> I ain't gonna hold you, that's some arcade shit. <laughs> Who got adrenaline bars in real life, nigga? Come on, the game not polished enough. 
to have no goddamn adrenaline bars with this weak ass movement says I don't know you're tripping you'll see we're using the default right now which is one per category uh huh and below this you can now press down on the left stick to switch uh -huh. to a different one and these are the four patterns that are unlocked by reaching level 40 in season three okay so my favorite one is going to be the two shooting, one play making, one defense rebounding for my build. The low key confirmed there's going to be more patterns in the future. 2K smart, bro. It's like 2K keep playing on us, bro. You know, I see a lot of people complaining that this should already have been in the game, and y'all are right. You know, especially with how we be being treated. But it's like, now it's like, I think. For future 2Ks, they're going to keep this system in here because this is another thing. To make people play the game more, hit level 40 more, and play the like a reason to get back on the game, you know? So, I think they're going to keep this going forward. Especially like the tiers, the need in the 10, because in the future... You, you, you're gonna want to have these different patterns to increase your build, and then this is gonna make you be more encouraged to make different builds to really maximize the patterns. And it's like, damn. And then every build a hundred dollars plus, and it's like, damn. Y'all niggas doing us crazy. Why don't y'all just be like Fortnite and just make niggas, you know, make make us pay for the builds like five ten dollars. Your user base will be up tremendously. Y'all make more money overall. I don't know why y'all just don't try it. I think they don't try it because they they don't know and then they can't go back if it don't end up planning out. But bro, the, the user base will increase by 10 plus, 10 times. People will make way more builds. A lot of people don't make builds and do all this stuff because it take too long and it costs too much money. There are no more little kids playing 2K, bro. If y'all don't think that shit is a problem, you're weird. <laughs> like, where are the little kids, bro? I'd never play with little kids. The game costs too much. Imagine being a little kid trying to play 2K, bro. <laughs> like, it's already easy as hell to mess up your build, right? So they're gonna mess up their build. They're little fucking kids. And then, to make another build that's 100 plus, you can't just, like, Come on, bro. It's crazy. This is crazy. Niggas need to go on, on something. Niggas, niggas got to do something, dog. But if you're a slasher, you might want to go with the two finishing and one playmaking, one defense rebounding. Um, there's also one finishing, two playmaking, one defense rebounding. And there's also one finishing, one playmaking, and two defense rebounding. So that's for the, all the locks out there. <laughs> so this will open up even more variety in uh -huh. your My Player builds. And we can't wait to see how this changes your badge loadouts. Like, when we need a VC price reduction. A lot of VC price reduction. We need everything to cost way less, man. Y'all going crazy, man. Look, if you want to take niggas' money, bro, just keep doing the clothes shit. Just do the clothes shit, bro. Just the animated, like, do that. Like, you know, like, just, I'm telling you, bro. Y'all niggas is going too far. Y'all let me know what y'all think. W or L, man. I think it's a good idea, but I personally wish it was already implemented in the start. Um, This is okay. Um, I see a lot of people mad. I can understand y'all's frustrations. Even though 40 is pretty easy to hit, but y'all probably just don't fuck with the game. Like, So this guy says there should be a slot where you can customize your own pattern. Trent says, the pattern should be given to us. It's part of the builder. This is ruthless at best. Cash grab. And they get to up their player base. Me personally, bro, with how they did season three, it feels like to me like the player base had to drop crazy. So if they make 2K24 just like this, I don't understand. Because it don't seem like casuals or skilled players really really fuck with this 2k bro um i don't know but they went kind of crazy bro nigga we got all the ski masks the foam fingers 
um the different colorful all these different outfits the snowman the the pattern shit santa claus um the uh old jackets we used to rock in 2k15 the big puffy jackets we've been asking for that forever we got a magic carpet like bro it, it was, it's like they trying to, you know, I don't know. Y'all let me know what y'all think, Jared says this shouldn't be locked behind level 40. You're punishing and putting people at a disadvantage that have lives, work, and family. This stuff makes me not want to pay 2K. Imagine having a life and being a solo player. Grinding to 40 would be double the headache. W. This needs to be rethought and free patterns better be out tomorrow. Competitive advantage behind level 40. What about the Xmas guys? Mm. So I guess the Xmas niggas ain't gonna be able to hit 40 unless they just give us crazy like rep throughout the season. I don't know. You guys think it's cool to hide part of the game, part of the builder to be competitive behind a season reward? Absurd. And look, man, a lot of people think that like people who talk about the game. Like, they're just brainwashed by YouTubers. Like, this is not the user base. Bro, the user base is way crazier than any YouTuber, bro. I don't I don't even hear any YouTuber complaining about this. And I don't know, man. Y'all be crazy. Ooh, him shoddy came up with a great point. Can we get the number of times we have to use a badge for it to be cored or a point system? Him, do you know why they don't show this? They're no, they know their game is faulty and buggy and it's not gonna register. And they don't want people complaining. That's why it's like that, bro. And it was, it's been faulty and buggy all year. Nobody wants to talk about how it cost over $100 to upgrade your player to 99 though. 2K is anti-consumer. Like, bro, to be honest, 2K is smart, bro. If you if you really think about it, man, this is going to make people make so many different builds on next gen to, like, fit their style more. Like, really think about it. Like, every season now, they're going to have these rewards, bro, you know? And it won't even be, like, badge points. And it's, it's going to make people rethink their builds and make certain type of builds. And it's like, damn, like 2K is like, this is crazy, bro. Like they really a money grab, bro. Like, is it ever going to end? <laughs> and then like, and it's like, bro, they even put the Trey Young sigs out. Like, you feel me? Like, it's like they, bro, I don't know, bro. And if y'all didn't know, like, Trey Young Sig's, like, 92 ball handle. Now, you you know, I'm going to drop a dribble tutorial on it later. Make sure y'all subscribe, like the video, comment I if you made it this far. And click on one of these two videos, man. But hey, hey, here we go again. Yeah. Here we go again. People talking this, but when this hit the fan, everything I'm at made me. Now break it down. Yo, off the top of the dome, dome.